order to uh, be able to put these on here, okay, when the metal gets bent, you can see the, uh, I think you can see that. See how the, the middle is pinched together here a little more. That's partly from the, uh, the die pushing in on it and partly just because of the metal stretching. Uh, it's got to go somewhere and it's being compressed on this side. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind that with the uh, belt grinder. Because uh, you can see, you know, it, normally it'll, it'll slip over easily, but then when it gets to that bend part, and I don't want it to uh, fight me and bind, so. And it just so happens that I left this spot up here, and boy, that makes it real nice for uh, some stuff like that. There we go. That's better. So what I'm looking at here is angle-wise, because I, I ended up overbending all of these, so I think I'm going to have to manually straighten them out just a bit. Uh, you know, if I... Well, on this one, it's a little harder to tell, because this isn't parallel with this, because of uh, doing that pie cut on the ends there and that stuff and twisting that slightly. So... You know, do I put it parallel with the edge here or the uh, the tube there? So either way, this is not parallel with this. So, you know, physically, will it affect one thing or the other? I seriously doubt it would have any, uh, any effect on it whatsoever. So then it just comes down to cosmetics, basically. Do I... I want to do it like that. Well, I'll figure that out and decide. But uh, basically, what I'm doing is for the other one here, I already went ahead and, and rebent that one. And as it turns out, it uh, it now matches up quite nicely with my uh, wire gauge. Uh, so is the other one. And so you can see here, they're, uh, I've got them parallel with the, the sides here. And uh, then they shoot off here pretty darn close to parallel here as well. And if I put this uh, this one up there you can see how far I straightened that out okay so rather than put them back in the press and try to straighten them back out because every time I tried to do that it seemed to overshoot uh, I'm basically just going to uh, put it back in the in the vise here and bend it until it lines up where I want it with my uh, wire gauge and I'm just using the 15 inch uh, crescent wrench here that I used before. Okay, well, that's pretty darn close. Now I can come over and do the other side here and use the first one as a gauge now. And one's on top, one's on bottom, so it's, you know, it's not like you're going to see the two and be able to tell if there's any difference between them. Uh, but I do need uh, the top side here to uh, match up with the uh, the other. Now it'll be, you know, it'll be going on this way on one set, but when it goes over to the other side, it goes on like that. So uh, they both need to be fairly close. And I'm going to go through and do all 20 like that until they all match what I want. deal was with the first one there. Contamination, I'm guessing. It's ugly, but it'll hold. Well, 
the one in the back is the one with the washers that I welded up for the uh, dimensions. And I'm 3 seconds of an inch short of 13. And this is the one that I cut with the dune dimensions and tacked together and god I'm 3 seconds. I mean they're they're really freaking close. And if you look you see my pencil mark there. You know, and I'm basically about that drill, 330 seconds or whatever it was, uh, wider. So, or longer rather, than uh, I was on the other one. So, that one comes in just a, just a tiny bit shorter. And this, and this caliper isn't, uh, this uh, isn't extremely accurate. I mean, I can push on the top there and change the dimension slightly, so. I gotta make sure I do the same on both. Yeah. Oh my god, that's certainly, you know, that's within a 164th. So, that ought to work. Um, so you can see it's. There you can see it's uh, it's tacked together, um, so basically you know it's it's pretty much ready to you know put the reinforcement underneath, weld up all the seams, everything like that. Uh, now I need to figure out how to make the uh, sway bar mount, and because uh, it's going to have to be a reverse kind of thing, so I want to get it drawn in CAD so I can have I can just mirror it and have. Uh, use the same template for both sides. So, it's getting there, finally. <laughs>